Hello, everyone. Hi. So there's no time to waste at a Creative Time Summit, so we'll just jump right to it. My name is Pedro Lash. Uh, is anybody here uh, enrolled in the Art of the MOOC? Can you raise your hand? Awesome. So, you know, it's a balance of people taking this experimental course and people not taking it. So the first three minutes of my presentation is just kind of a video to give you a sense of what it looks like for people who are taking it, and then I'll jump back in uh, to talk. In the last few decades, public art and education have radically transformed themselves. They've moved from the fringe into becoming a space in which conversations around the world are occurring. What used to be thought of as a field with a big object in public space now is something that overlaps with social movements, grassroots culture, online platforms, all kinds of other interesting things. So now the artists, which was once considered an avant-garde, are now at the center of a very complex, very thought-provoking discussion. My name is Pedro Lash, and I'm a Duke University professor and a visual artist. My name is Nato Thompson, chief curator at Creative Time. And we invite you to join us in this online course that is free, and it is called The Art of the MOOC, Merging Public Art and Experimental Education. <coughs> in this course, you will make your own social projects as you learn with us and our guest presenters of all of these amazing transformations, the projects, the theories, the ideas, and the players around the world. And what's wonderful is we have an incredible roster of talent from artists to curators to academics who you could never get in the same room and you could never actually have in a physical class. Online, we can actually have this and galvanize a very historic discussion. And we will always be challenging you and your peers around the world to be making work along these lines. We're now going to a special place that will highlight some of the things we want you to deal with. So come on and join us. The city basically took what was considered a very known, very sanctified artist and said, hey, let's make a sculpture of his. He called it a drawing that entered into space. They basically reenacted as accurately as they could the assassination in Texas, right, mm -hmm. in Dallas. Uh, and they did it several times, so it was running on a loop, right? And a male actor, basically one of the members of Ant Farm, stood for uh, Jackie, you know? So so they created this parade, and then at the end of it, they had a human cannonball. Yeah. And this man flew over the border, and you know, his body basically crossed international space. That's so awesome. We should watch it. Yeah, let's watch it. Let's applaud to Javier Tellez. That's his artwork. Awesome artist from Venezuela. You know, I think one of the best of, of the last few generations. And so, you know, uh, we don't have time to go into materials from the other modules. There are six modules. This first one is on, you know, spatial politics. But there's a, a module on experimental education. There's one on fictions and mock institutions. That's the third one. The fourth one, which just happened, is about aesthetics. And then the fifth is on embodied knowledges. And the last module is on social movements. And Boots Riley talked about something very important uh, yesterday, which it's a lot of this work is beautiful and spectacular. It grabs you. But we can't stop there. So in the last module on social movements, we actually or, like we put it together through the notion of actions that are not just spectacular. We kind of start there, but we take students through the idea of organizing, of refusing, not just refusing your labor, but boycotting, refusing other, in other ways. And the idea of organizing our creativity, but also our, po our politics through these actions, right? So Nada Thompson is going to join me uh, in you know, presenting uh, some of the student work. Basically, uh, 
This is pretty meta, huh? Me and you, and then there was like yes. that. Yeah. And it won't happen again. Okay. Basically, what you're about to see does not include NATO and me. <laughs> uh, so you could ask yourself, well, why is it art? Why isn't it just a course? You could, we could say, well, people are making art. The students are making art. But still, there are many art courses that are not, we shouldn't call them art, or why would we call them art? But one of the reasons why we thought we, you're looking at student work right now from the first week, uh, focusing on displacement. Uh, these are students from around the world. Um, and one of the reasons we thought of really making it as an artwork, why we wanted to make it as artwork, because we want to take the structure of MOOCs, of these massive open online courses, and think of them seriously as an art medium. Not just formally speaking, but also politically speaking, right? So uh, this is some of the student work you're seeing. Uh, we will let you just enjoy some of them, and then Nato and I will, will talk a little bit more about specific projects. Um, Now remember, these as people from 119 countries. We have as many students in Vietnam as we have in Germany. It's stuff like this that makes you like art. <laughs> these are so cool. <laughs> So clearly some of them got more engaged and elaborate. So like this student inspired by Sophie Kahl's phone booth, which was in our lectures, she transformed this basically unused public space. Um, this woman, Elaine, squatted the art and science building at Antioch College. <laughs> I know some of them in the house here. Uh, Ryan turned this everyday sign into an art object by claiming it from, for an anonymous artist. These students collaborated and took their reading group to a parking lot. Deirdre displaced this clip from an everyday object to an art object by putting it on the wall, but then it became her Facebook profile picture. She displaced the act of clapping, and so she's clapping at bus drivers. You know, and here... Uh, oh, this is Sharza. She created personal space on the terrain, on the Tehran gender-divided subway. <laughs> How rad is that? And who would have known that our two, two of our favorite projects were by young women artists from Iran? Here, Saba is displacing herself in her workspace uh, and registering her gradually more disgruntled boss. <laughs> At one point, she literally sat on his desk. So awesome. <laughs> now, you know, for the students' next week project, the next week's project, people were doing anti-lectures. Yeah, so here's some uh, students actually making stars and then other actually acting out parts of the camera and how they work. So right, because you're making, they're making alienated classes into social classes. Yeah, and anti-social individualist knowledge into collective knowledge production. So here they are, you know, impersonating the big three. <laughs> and, you know... Okay, why are we looking at drawings? <laughs> yeah, right, why, why drawings? Well. This started as a collaboration with one of our guest presenters, Cesare Pietro Giusti, a great Italian social practice artist. And one of the things we want to do is, remember, challenge the form of, of the MOOC, MOOC or use it as an artwork, as an art medium. And so one crucial thing, for the way MOOCs work, is through evaluation, peers assessing other peers. But that tends to create a pyramid where a few stand on the top. With this, we actually did the opposite. People submitted an intentionally unfinished drawing and then the evaluators, instead of judging, had to finish the drawing. So all of a sudden, like in one week, over a thousand drawings were produced, and the judges had to become artists, right? So that's kind of what you're seeing here. Okay. Show me how that works, Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll wrap up with kind of giving you a sense 
of what's happening next, right? In the last few weeks, every week we challenged the MOOC format in different ways. So this, week, this last week, people were thinking of institutions they care about, but that they wanted to transform. And so they had to invite others in that first step of towards transforming them. Uh, this, uh, this week, there's a lot of flash mob actions happening in cultural institutions. And the following week, we'll show you the clip, the prompt, telling students what they could be doing. All right? Awesome. And I think we'll end it right there. Yeah. It's an exciting mechanism. I want to just thank Pedro and Duke University for putting this vehicle for popular pedagogy out, out into the internet dispersed field. People have been using masks to cover their faces and create art experiences. Now, we could ask ourselves, what is shown on the mask, right? So expressions, decorations, all kinds of animals have been portrayed. But one of the things we're going to ask ourselves this week is, what is shown by the mask through exclusion? The mask hides, and it shows things around it. This module is about embodied knowledges. One of the first things masks do, in addition to depicting things inside of the mask, is they force us to look at our bodies, at the rest, at things that we often don't look at, right? But they also force us to look at the environment. Now, in the case of these particular masks, which are mirror masks, we literally see the environment through reflection. So for this week's worldwide flash mob, each one of you will design your own mask and also invite others to participate in a flash mob event. So what does that look like? Flash mobs tend to happen quickly in unexpected places and with a large number of people. But it doesn't always have to be literally a mob, meaning hundreds of th or thousands of people. A flash mob can be five people, six people, family, friends, etc. But that's all up to you. Just keep in mind that you need to think, am I being creative? Am I putting together interesting social ideas with a form? And are people actually coming? How do I get them there? Uh, in some cases, you may want them to design their own masks, right? So it's, of course, a challenging assignment and difficult to do in the short amount of time that you have. But we think it will be really fun, and you will learn a lot from it. Okay, I can't get that guy shooting out in the sky out of my head. <laughs> Wait, I, they're allowing me one question. Um, so you have, uh, you have teachers, you've got 30 teachers, you've got 5,000 students, you have modules, you kind of have these traditional elements of pedagogy. The classroom's online. I'm just wondering if you could distill, or, or in your opinion, what of this platform is the most, is testing conventions the most, is the most revolutionary part of this platform that you're using to do this sort of work? To me, it's that uh, kind of global international platform, the fact that some of our students are in Iran, others in Vietnam, but there also are also a lot of people in New York. But also, like, there's an entire class from Antioch College here with their professor, you know, who are taking the MOOC together. This week, they're doing a project together, uh, collaborating about real estate and, oh. you know, how the university is involved in real estate, you know, so, so for me, like, I, I can't think of anything else. I mean, one of the, there's many reasons to be critical of MOOCs and how they have been used and also the techno evangelism, you know, mm -hmm. but I think one of the mistakes is that we, the more they are around, the less we think of them as courses. I think if you judge them as courses, they're gonna be failures. Because sure, you can watch lectures, but that's actually the least interesting part. To me, the interesting part is how to collaborate with others internationally, but also locally. All of these things that courses actually don't do, uh, but that this type of platform can. So if they're not courses, they're? They're MOOCs. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Or they're on, I mean, it's, I, I think of them as international online education platforms that we may use for activists and radical purposes. That's how I like to think of it. Okay. Good note to end on. <laughs> Thank you.